And tonight in Montgomery County, we now know the name of the utility worker who was killed after being electrocuted. Police say he was 39 year old Osma Daniel Shaveria. DC News Now's Kevon Dupree has the update plus the story of one neighbor who rushed to find out what happened. On Tuesday here in this field, a 39 year old Verizon utility worker was working on power lines in a bucket truck when he was electrocuted and died. I spoke with one person who lives nearby. They say this is truly a tragedy. You could feel the heaviness of the situation. A neighbor who didn't want to be on camera says she noticed several emergency vehicles outside her home Tuesday afternoon. So she walked down Ashton Road to see what happened. I could hear it sounded like a young woman wailing with sorrow and I could see the truck. I could see the bucket. I didn't know what I was really looking at, but it seemed like something was charred at the top. Slightly confused, she decided to walk back home and be with her mother. She said that she had overheard some of the workers saying um, he's still in the bucket. Hearing this, she decided to walk back to the scene. Then I guess it registered to me that I, I think I saw one of his body parts like hanging out of the bucket. Montgomery County Police have identified the man as Osmar Daniel Chavaria. The neighbor says after learning someone died, she instantly became overwhelmed with emotions. It was just tragedy and prayer and you think of the family. She says since the deadly incident occurred, she has spoken with the owner of the home that was being serviced by the Verizon utility crew. It was very traumatic for him. Um, he had to step away for a while. She says she's also still trying to process the entire situation. It was just very heavy, very heavy, very tragic, very surprising. Reporting in Ashton, Kevon Dupree, DC News Now. Kevon, thank you. And Verizon releasing a statement this afternoon. A spokesperson says, quote, we extend our deepest sympathies to our colleagues, loved ones. Our network and safety teams are working with local authorities and others in an effort to determine exactly what happened.